Hello, chosen ones. I pray everyone is having a blessed and awesome day this Sunday morning. I want to give you all a couple of scriptures that the Lord has given to me that he laid on my heart. And he laid on my heart this morning, strong tower. And the thing is that this word has been in my head. On my heart, I have notebooks with this word, strong tower. It has been for at least over a month now. So this is not the first time I have heard this word, but I know that I need to speak a word on this because God is our strong tower. He is our high tower. So. I want to say that to you all this morning. If you are new to the channel, my name is Latoya T. Wolford. I am an author, a life coach, and a motivational speaker. And I have a podcast, and you are welcome to listen to it anytime you want. Chosen Ones with Latoya T. Wolford on platforms as Spotify, Apple, and Google, and Anchor. So you all are welcome to listen, but I want to get into this word real fast. So God wants us to know that he is our strong tower through anything that we face, through any hard times that we face. He is our strong tower. He will fight our enemies for us. We do not have to do nothing because he is our strong tower. The only thing that we must do is Stand on the word of God. Stand on faith. Know that God will protect us and know that God will do everything, everything and anything in his power to save us because we are already saved. So we don't have to go out and battle, think we're going out and battle alone because God is there to protect us, to comfort us. And I want to start off by reading this scripture in Proverbs 18 verses 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. Meaning that God is our strong tower. If you feel in fear, if you think someone is after you, whatever, it doesn't matter. Run to your tower. Run to, run to your tower. And the tower is God. I'm going to give you all another scripture. This scripture is in 2 Samuel 22, verses 11. No, I'm sorry. It's, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's in uh, 22, 2 Samuel 22, verses 1 through 3. I will love you, O Lord, my strength. And the title of it is God the Sovereign Savior. He's our Savior. I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength in whom I will trust. My shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. So. I just want you all to know that. You know what? I'm so sorry, you all. I'm so sorry. This is not in 2 Samuel 22. This is in Psalms 18, 1, verse 3. That's the Holy Spirit. That That is the enemy. See, he's trying to slip me up on my words. Let me pray right fast. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke the enemy over the words that are coming out of my mouth right now in Jesus' name, the words that you have given me, the scriptures that you have given me to speak this morning, this Sunday morning, Father God. So I rebuke the enemy right now over whoever is listening to this video, whoever is dealing with anything, any turmoil in their life, Father God, anything right now in the name of Jesus, I am going to speak your word and I am going to speak it in all truth in Jesus name. I pray. Amen. Thank you, Father. That is why it is so important for us to pray because if we do not pray, the enemy, he will try. 
he will try to get away with what he think he can. That is why we need to pray every day, every day. That fast, he did not want y'all to hear this word because he know it's going to help someone, even if it's one person. He know it's going to help someone. So, the scripture, that was the scripture I just read was in Psalms 18, 1 verses 3. Now, this scripture right here is in 2 Samuel 22. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and deliverer the God of my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold and my refuge, my savior, you save me from violence. So every scripture I have just read, it is letting you know that God protects us. He is our stronghold. He is our stronghold. That's who we hold on to, not the stronghold of the world, not the stronghold of the enemy. We rebuke that stronghold, but the stronghold we want to hold on to is our heavenly father, our heavenly father, our Lord and savior, Jesus Christ. That is it. That is all. Anything else could just go on. We want to re rebuke anything evil anything that is of violence against us. So I want you all to meditate on these three scriptures just as well as I am because God is our strong tower. God is our high tower, high tower, our strong tower. These words mean a lot. And God wanted us to know this today, that he is our strong tower. So whoever listened to this video, I don't know, maybe you have been dealing with some things that's been questioning where God is at in your life. But I just want you to know, and God wants you to know that he is your strong tower and he is right here. So you do not have to worry about anything because God is here. He is present everywhere. Whatever you is thinking Whatever you is believing for, whatever, God is already in the midst of it. And you need to know that. And I want to do communion with you all. And if you all have your, um, your cups, you know, your wine and your bread, we're going to do communion. Because today is Sunday and some Sundays. If you are new to the channel, I like to do communion. And with our communion, you whatever you have that represents God in your life, represents Jesus Christ, what he has done, it does not matter. It could be a cracker, a piece of bread, whatever, water. Get you a cup of water. If you need to pause this video, you can do that. And so what I want to say about this is that we know that Jesus Christ saved himself for our sins saved us, saved, sacrificed itself for our sins. So we want to remember that when we do communion, that is what we are remembering. So Jesus sat with the 12 disciples and he told them with this bread, this is my piece of bread I have right here. We want to remember his body. This is his body broken for us. And we want to remember that. We want to remember that. So we think about Jesus. We think about everything he has done for us, for us, how they treated him, how they put Jesus Christ on the cross and they beat him and they laughed at him and they did all that. Just, just take yourself there. Just take yourself in that moment and think about what Jesus did for us. They hung him on the cross. They beat him. They laughed at Jesus. And he did all that, and he bore all that pain for us. And he listened to our Heavenly Father, what our Heavenly Father told him to do. He did it. He did it without Jesus doing that. Where would we be right now? Where would we be? So we want to thank Jesus, our Lord and Savior. And we want to remember him when we take this bread and we want to do it with the right heart. So we take the bread and we eat, eat it, you break it, eat all of it.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You want to thank Jesus. You want to thank him for everything he done. And you want to make sure you have the right heart. You do not want to have the wrong heart doing this. You want to make sure you are there. You want to be in a quiet place. You want to think about Jesus Christ. And I'm going to take this cup of wine, which is juice. And I'm going to drink it. And it might be a little bit too hard. But I'm going to do it because... I'm holding the phone because I was trying to put it on, on my um, stand. And for some reason, on my tripod, for some reason, it didn't want to act right this morning. So we know that is definitely the enemy. So I'm going to take this cup. And you know what I should have did was uh, did this before. Sorry, y'all. Before I had did this. But we want to take this cup, juice, and we want to drink. And when we drink this... We want to remember Jesus Christ, and we want to remember this as his blood. This is his blood, and we want to think about it, how his blood was dripping, how he did all this for us, all this for us, and they laughed, and you take it and you drink it. And we thank Jesus Christ. We thank Jesus Christ and remember him for everything he has done. And never forget it. Never forget it that everything we have, everything we are, what, the reason why we are here is because of Jesus. Because of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. So I thank you all. I pray that you all have a blessed and awesome day. I am going to head to church right now. And I'm going to get this good word. <laughs> and I'm going to serve. And remember to serve you all. I'm going to serve also. So remember, we have to serve. It don't matter how little it is. We need to serve every day. Every day we need to be out here serving. And I just pray that you all enjoy the start of your new week. In Jesus' name, blessings to you all.